To get started, we want to install our own copy of Firebase in the cloud. If I go to a search bar and type in Firebase and click on the first link, it brings me to this page which allows me to install Firebase. Uh, let's first look at the different pricing structures for Firebase and you see that Google has three different levels and we're of course going to be picking this one which is the free level. And you can see we can get a lot done here with this level, more than enough for our needs. So if I go over to the uh, Firebase homepage, I'm going to click over here where it says getting started for free. And that's going to give us an opportunity to create a new project. So we're going to click on that. And I'm going to call this project uh, President's Quiz Revisited. And uh, I'm going to hit the Create button. And in a couple of minutes, Google is going to fire up this uh, brand new database for me. OK, so now we've uh, created the President's Quiz Revisited. You can see the title up here. Now that the project has been created, we want to turn our attention to this left sidebar, which has our main menu for the database. We're going to first look in the database itself, and we're going to see here that there is no data, of course, because we've just created the project. So all that's shown is a null next to the title. Over here is the tab that lets us authenticate our users. And here we can authenticate the users using email and several other ways. But we're going to actually uh, provide access in a slightly different way by getting the auth authentication information and embedding it into our App Inventor app. I've got App Inventor 2 open and I'm starting off with the President's Quiz that we had built earlier. To this, I've gone into the experimental drawer and added a Firebase database component, which is a non-visible component. When I click on that component, I see the properties for Firebase are brought up here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the authentication so that our Firebase uh, database uh, can communicate with the App Inventor 2 app. In order to do that, we need two pieces of information from the database that we need to install in our app. We need to get a Firebase authentication token, and we also need to get a Firebase URL. Here I am on the Firebase console, and when I get to the database section, you see that the link that's right here is the one that we want. So I can just click on this and hit copy. Now, important thing here is do not use this link up here for your Firebase link inside App Inventor. You want this one right here. So we're going to just come back over here and we're going to take that and we're going to uncheck this default. This default that's checked here right now basically allows App Inventor to use its own built-in uh, interface to Firebase. But because we're going to need web access, we can't use this. We're going to build our own Firebase here. So I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to hit Control V. And it's going to add in the uh, link to the URL from the Firebase database that we want. The other uh, piece of information we need is the Firebase token. That's a little harder to find, so let's come back to the console again. We're going to click on this little wheel. We're going to go to Project Settings. We're going to go to Database. And here you see that it says Database Secrets. And what we want is hiding behind these dots right here. So if I click on the Show, you see that it reveals the token. So I'm simply going to click on this icon that copies the token to the computer clipboard. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to copy and I'm going to control V once again and I'm going to paste that right in there. Okay, And that's all we have to do to get our authentication set up. What we're going to do now is we're going to manually insert into the database all the information about the quiz that we're going to be building and uh, we're going to do that by going to the database tab here on the left sidebar. Uh, notice that our database is null right now but we're going to click on this little teal plus button that's going to allow us to add a, a tag field and then the value that goes along with it. Uh, it's important that if for our application that what we're going to put in here is a list. From a database perspective, it will be useful if we could keep all the information for each question together. So we could have all the information about question one here, all the information about question two, etc. The way we've uh, architected our application on App Inventor 2 uh, uses a different architecture where we use parallel lists to parse the data. So that would mean that uh, one list contains all the questions, and another list contains all the answers. Uh, so we're going to compromise a little bit here and on this database we're going to set up our records the same way uh, that they are architected in the App Inventor 2 app. So we're going to create parallel lists here as well. 
and, and that's going to make the parsing of the lists much easier back in our App Inventor 2 app.